Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Media Channel. I'm your host, William Hugh. In this episode, I thought I'd show you how to make things mysteriously appear. Or change. Or disappear. Using nothing more than the magic of Windows Movie Maker. So there you go, that's the effect in action. And this is a marvellously versatile effect, it really is. The stuff you can do with it, you wouldn't believe. Once you get your head around how this works, you'll be able to pull off some stunning feats of magic on video. And it's also probably one of the simplest video effects you will ever do. This effect can be produced in Windows Movie Maker or any other video editor. It is so, 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 so simple. A child could do it. They really could. You want to know how to do it? Okay then. To get this effect right, it is essential to keep your camera absolutely still throughout the shot, as any camera movement will ruin the illusion. The easiest way to achieve this is to use a tripod and lock down the camera. If you haven't got a tripod, then place your camera on some convenient, solid support and use a beanbag to hold the camera in position. You will need two clips to pull off this effect. A shot of the background only, and a shot of the background plus whatever it is that you want to disappear. It's safest to take both scenes in one shot, so that you don't have to touch the camera between shots. Here's how I did it. I locked down the camera and started recording. I took about 10 seconds of the car and background. Then leaving the camera running, I moved the car out of shot and got another 10 seconds of just the background. That's it, job done! Now upload the clip you've taken to your editor, in this case Windows Movie Maker, but any editor will do. Run the clip up to the points just before the object is moved and split the film. Now run the clip on until just after the object has been moved and split the film again. Now just right click on the unwanted middle section and delete it. You now have effectively two clips. They are identical apart from the fact that one has the object and the other doesn't. If you now just run the two clips in sequence, you will see that the car seems to disappear. Congratulations, you have just pulled off the effect. If you would like a slower disappearance, then just make a fade by pushing the two clips together. This will produce a grey area between the clips. This is a fade transition. As the only difference between the two clips is the car, that's what fades, producing a nice, gentle dissolve into nothing. 
reversing the sequence of clips will make the object appear instead of disappearing. To change the object to something else, just replace the object with whatever you want to change it to and run the clips together as before. That's it. Told you it was easy. So there you go. Now you know how to produce magic on video. And if you like these tips and tricks and you'd like to see some more, then stay tuned to the Media Channel, because in future episodes, there'll be tons of stuff like this coming out. Oh, yes. In fact, while you're here, why don't you pop the subscribe button? It's up here somewhere, and that way you won't miss any future episodes, will you? Yes, well, come on. I'm not doing this for my health, you know. Well, that's all for this episode. This is Will Hughes signing off until next time. See you on the Media Channel. Yeah.